Hi, it's Jiro again today. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to show you briefly about the new Citra MMJ emulator. It's the new unofficial build uh, from Wheelia. Uh, he is the developer behind the Dolphin emulator on Android. And what I've seen of it so far, it looks pretty impressive. Now, I'm going to say three things. Uh, the first thing, you need Android operating system 7.0 and above. Secondly, uh, smartphones that have Snapdragon 845 and 855 will have better performance. And for games, I'm afraid I can't give you any links. Uh, you'll have to get the games yourself. So the link in the description brings you to this page. There. And all you got to do is click on Assets. Click on the Citra MMJ. And then just download it and install it. Now, wherever you got your games... Um, and mine, it's my files. I've got mine in the in the in the 3ds games. Now you will have to do something different. Where it says decrypted behind beside it, it would say, like you said, there 3ds, right? Games have to work in CCI format. So what I'm going to do is click on a game that I've just got in there recently, Star Fox Star Fox uh, 64. Let's click on it, and what we're going to do is we're going to rename that. So rename. You can see it there. I'm going to get rid of this 3DS. Actually, I want to do that again. Sorry. So we'll click on that. Rename. Where it says the 3DS there, I'm going to put CCI. CCI. Rename. Change. And there it is. So now it will be... All the games are like that now. And if you're not a fan of the, the this new MMJ emulator and you want to use the custom build, don't worry. CCI also works on the custom build as well. So you don't need to change them back. So once we're out of there, let's go into our Citra emulator there. I don't know why it keeps on asking me for that. Right, and there it is. So you need to, whatever games you've changed, or you, you need to refresh. And they're all in there. Now, a game I've been playing recently, folks, is Dragon Ball Z. Now, even though I've got an Exynos, now I've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 with the Exynos 9820. Uh, I'm surprised how good this actually works. The game actually hits nearly 40 FPS. Uh, uh, phones that have the Snapdragon uh, processors, like from you know the Samsung Galaxy S8 and above, will have better performance. But I actually couldn't actually how good Dragon Ball Z. For those of you who follow my videos, we know it's only going to get about 28 to 30 FPS, but I'm actually surprised how really well it works. Now, I did get higher FPSs because I'm recording. It does take um, a drop, but I was getting around 40 to 43 frame rates, and it was a lot more faster. So, and that's about it. Uh, the settings, I keep the same. I've kept them. I haven't changed any of the settings you see there. They're all the default settings. And hopefully that this could become a really good emulator. I'm sure it will. Hopefully we might get uh, updates within a couple of weeks or so each uh, that's what happened with the Dolphin emulator. You got a, a week, an update every couple of weeks, and hopefully it's not just for Snapdragon smartphones, Exynos as well, and it'll hopefully be able to work on lower end specs as well. So it looks pretty good. Some games are better um, than it was on the the unofficial build, the custom build, but it looks pretty promising. Uh, like I said before, sorry I can't give any links towards the games. Uh, you'll have to get them yourself. And I'm going to test the games that couldn't work 
uh, on the stitch. I want to see if now they work on this build. So I'll leave a link in the description, folks, uh, so you can try it out yourselves. So remember, also the game. If it ends in 3DS in your, you know, wherever you got your games, you need to change that to CCI. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.